In the video that I am going to release today, I will be talking about a new piece of legislation that was just recently presented. This legislation provides tax credits for simply shopping that range from $2,000 to $5,000. At this point, let me begin by saying that this probably seems way too wonderful to be true. I agree with you it does, but it's actually not, as this was just introduced a couple days ago and offering. Like I said, up to $2,000 or even $5,000 for some people for simply shopping for those products that are made mostly here in the United States and that are offered by small or medium-sized businesses consistent with the standards of the FTC Federal Trade Commission. During this video, I will provide you with all of the information that you need to know, as well as the name of the legislation, so that you may look it up if you are interested in conducting some research on this topic. In addition, this would be an incredible tax benefit for a great number of people, which would in fact encourage us, the customers, to make purchases and enjoy some retail therapy. I'm not sure the answer to this question. Do we need to be motivated to go shopping? In all seriousness, the problem is that this would be of great assistance to our economy here in the United States. It would boost our economy. It would result in the creation of more jobs, a great deal more manufacturing, and a great deal more of other industries as a consequence of that. Again, it would be of great assistance to our economy at the moment because we are aware that a significant number of the items that we purchase are really imported from other countries, right? It is true that this is not the case for all things, but it is the case for a significant number of the items that are sold in this country. Simply do out this action if you do not believe me. You should go to the store, and the next time you are there, you should turn the goods over and look at the bottom. You will see that somewhere on the product, it will state made in, and underneath that, you will see the name of a country. It may be the United States of America, or it could be a number of other countries. Nonetheless, it will be abundantly evident to you that a significant number of the products that are currently available are not manufactured in the United States. In any case, this credit is intended to serve that very function. If you are enjoying this video, or any of the other thousands of videos that are available on this channel, you would be doing yourself a tremendous favor if you press the subscribe button that is located below the video. Now, I have a lot more information for you here that I want to share with you, but before we do that, I want to make sure that you also hit that button dot. IT is a strange time to be seen out there. There is a lot of difficulty in the world, and the majority of people have had a difficult time with their finances during the past couple of years. Reading any of the reports or looking at any of the research that are available is sufficient. Today, the majority of people do not have any money. Seriously, I've discussed it in other videos that I've uploaded in the past. In spite of the unfortunate circumstances, I am here to help you make the most of your financial resources to bring to your attention everything that may be available to you that you may be able to seize or exploit and to advocate on your behalf in any way that I may be able to. Thank you once more for coming to be with me. I would be quite grateful if you could subscribe down below and as soon as possible we will discuss the specifics of this matter. That being said, I would like to provide you with the names of the legislation that is currently being considered. If you are interested in conducting your own research on this topic, you should not hesitate to do so. You may check it up and conduct some research on it if you so desire. If that is not the case, I will provide you with the information in this video as well. On the other hand, the name of the piece of legislation is the Made in the USA Tax Code. To reiterate, the Made in the USA Tax Cut Act, exactly that as is the name of the piece of proposal. Just a few days ago, a couple of Democratic lawmakers presented it to the legislative body for consideration. What are they planning to do with this information now? Again, the objective of this is to encourage us, the consumers, 
to go out and purchase things that are primarily manufactured within the borders of the United States, in accordance with the requirements set forth by the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC and primarily from small and medium-sized enterprises that have fewer than 500 employees. So, when we go to buy something right now, do we typically buy it from large box stores, which are enormous corporations that are worth billions, hundreds of billions, or even trillions of dollars? Or do we normally go to the local corner store and buy something from them? Again, it is a matter of personal preference for each and every individual. And once again, a significant portion of it, most likely, has to do with the cost and availability of certain things. When it comes to me, I know that a significant portion of it is related to the availability of items, as well as convenience and, of course, the price, which is obviously a significant factor. At all times, we strive to pay the least amount of money possible, which is the smallest possible price. At least, that is how things are for me. In my search for a coupon, a discount, a promotional code, a sale, a clearance sale, or something similar, I am always seeking for something. To put it another way, that is essentially the case. To put it another way, the purpose of this is to encourage each and every one of us to purchase these products, which are manufactured in the United States and come from smaller firms. To put it another way, it is the reason for doing this. The question now is, how exactly will the tax credits operate? Simply said, this is what everything boils down to. Tax credits would be made available at a rate of $2,500 for a person and $5,000 for a married pair depending on the circumstances. What is the next step? How would you account for this tax and how would you demonstrate that? For example, I purchased $4,000 worth of goods created in the United States from small firms the previous year. What steps would you take to secure that tax credit? This is an excellent question. Not really, I don't have a response for you to offer. So, here's why. Regarding this matter, they did not provide any specific details. What I'm trying to say is, how can I demonstrate that it's true? Where can I find evidence that I purchased $4,000? Let me reiterate that this is not the case with me. Please understand that I am merely stating that this is merely an example that I am making up here. On the other hand, if you go out and try to claim the tax credit, how are you going to demonstrate that? Yeah, I did spend thousands of dollars on these things that were created in the United States of America last year, and that I purchased them from these tiny businesses. What are the steps involved in doing that? A proof of purchase of some kind is provided to you, right? So, clearly, you would have a receipt in your possession. What exactly is it that you need to do? Exactly what are the requirements to make a claim 